This video is a Radium Dex tutorial. If you're looking to swap tokens on Solana, we'll get connected with a Phantom wallet and then I'll show you how to get tokens into your wallet and swap them. Timestamps for that below in the description. If you're trading on Solana, you'll probably be using a Phantom wallet. If you don't have one yet, then go to the Phantom site. I'll link it below. Download a wallet for your browser. You can put it on your phone as well. Press create a new wallet, then choose a password. This is an app password and spending password. So you can lock the app with this, but it's not a wallet password or anything like that. If you delete the app and then reload it, you can create a new password. The next screen is going to give you a secret recovery phrase. This is your wallet. It's 12 words. You need to write it down. If you delete the app, you can reload your wallet with these 12 words on any other device. If you lose the app and these words, you lose your money forever. So keep these 12 words incredibly safe. Press continue. You set up the wallet and then we can go and get some salt in here to use the Radium Dex. We can now connect a wallet to the Radium Dex. Just press connect wallet in the top right hand corner. Connect any wallet that you're using. As long as it uses the Solana network, you can see them here, you can connect it. If you have a wallet on your phone, press wallet connect. It's going to give you a QR code. Scan from your phone. It's going to connect the wallet on your phone to the DAP. I'm going to press Phantom Wallet. So it's connected up in the top right hand corner and it should be able to read my balances now. So if I press max, you can see I've got some soul here and I can use that to swap into another token. In order to swap on Radium, you always need some soul tokens in your wallet to pay for the gas fee or the transaction fee. So you can use soul tokens as value to swap into another token and pay gas at the same time, or you can swap any two other tokens, but you always need some soul in your wallet to pay for the transaction fee. So what I'm gonna do is get my Phantom wallet up and I'm just going to copy the address right here. So account one, and I'm just gonna copy my Solana address. And then we're gonna get some soul tokens into the wallet so that we can pay for transactions. So I'll go over to my centralized exchange. I've just bought some Solana here, and then I'm gonna withdraw that. It's the same for every exchange. So buy the coin, and then go to withdraw via crypto network. And then it says which address. So this is my Phantom wallet address, or if you have another wallet, paste that in. It's auto matched to the Solana network because this is a Solana network address and then I'm just going to withdraw an amount to my wallet. If you wanna know how to use uh, exchanges, centralized exchanges to get fiat currency into crypto, I'll leave those video guides down below as well. I'll leave some uh, deposit and trading bonuses to the exchanges I use down in the description also. Now that we've got some soul in our wallet, we can go ahead and pay for some swaps. So the first thing to do is to check out the slippage settings for your trade. So the settings icon in the top right, if you click that, then slippage tolerance. So slippage is the difference between the price quote that you get given for your trade and the actual price that it's traded on the blockchain. The difference between that is called slippage. So slippage of 0.5% means that you're allowing a worse trade or a worse exchange rate by 0.5% and it will go through no problem. If you give 1% slippage, you're allowing a worse trade by up to 1% from the exchange rate that you were given when you pressed swap. Now for most large tokens, SOL USDC, 0.5 and below is totally fine. It shouldn't have virtually any slippage whatsoever. It should be you know, around basically nothing. If you're trading smaller coins and a lot of meme coins and stuff, you know, especially illiquid coins, then you're gonna have to allow way more slippage, up to 1% to 3% maybe, which is a big difference. So just be aware of the slippage that you may be allowing there. Default Explorer is uh, fine to just keep as it is and everything, the RPC, you can just leave as is. Slippage is the main thing here. So for right now, what we wanna do is find the tokens that we wanna trade. Dexes work on a system of token lists, which is essentially a group of tokens that may be whitelisted by the exchange. Because a Dex can list any token, including scams, you wanna make sure that you're trading the right token. So you can see up here, popular tokens, these are gonna be something that the Radium Dex has you know, whitelisted as the big tokens right here. But if you go to view token list and then allow any token lists that you want. So the Radium token list has 153 tokens. Jupiter is a exchange aggregator, it has way more tokens. So you can toggle that on and off as you want to find any tokens that may be listed on the Solana network. Everything is available to trade, but there may be scam tokens. So you have to be sure about which token that you're trading. So you can choose any token here. So I'll search for USDC. It gives me a lot of different options. This is clearly the, you know, the right one because it has the right logo. However, there may be multiple versions. 
So what we can do is go and check that the token that we're trading is the one we want. So you can use many different uh, avenues to do that. You can go on CoinMarketCap, CoinGecko. I'm just looking at Gecko Terminal here and it will show you all of the tokens that are trading and the volume. So higher volume pairs have, of course, more people trading them, meaning that they're probably, you know, the right pairs to be trading and it will give you the information here. So I'll click on this one, Sol USDC. I think this is the radium trading pool. And what we can do is see this pool, see all the, all the trades, see the trading volume. It's obviously very large. So this is clearly the pool that we'd want to trade in if we're trading Solana and USDC. And then if we scroll down, you should be able to see the contract address of USDC right here. So I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to go back into the Radium Dex and then you can search for the token that way. So up here, I'm just going to paste in the contract address. It gives me this token. All right, so we can just be doubly sure that we're trading the correct token and not trading any scams or anything else. From here, we can check the exchange rate and the amounts that we're trading. So selling 0.02 sell, that's going into USDC. This is how much USDC I should be expected to receive. You can see the minimum amount received. Price impact is basically nothing, which should be because it's a small trade. How the order is going to be routed, what uh, uh, assets are going to be traded here to get the best trade. So we're going to press swap. And then that should go through and uh, make us sign the transaction in our wallet. So we'll check the details here. So it's going to be taking some Solana out of my wallet and putting USD coin in. You can see the network fee. So I'm going to press confirm and that will go through and swap. So we've swapped some Sol into USDC. If you want to trade tokens on Solana, you may find it easier to use a DEX screener. That's going to show you all of the highest traded pairs and potentially give you better trades by using a DEX aggregator. So BirdEye is one of them. So I'll click on USDC here. So the second highest traded asset on the Solana blockchain, it's gonna show you all of the coins and all of the highest traded pairs. So we'll actually swap some Sol into USDC. I've connected my wallet in the top right, and this is using Jupiter, which is an exchange aggregator. So you may trade on Radium or one of the other DEXs, whichever is gonna give you the best trade at the time. And then you can do the exact same thing. So choose an amount of sold that you want to trade, swap it into USDC. It's going to give you the exchange rate here. You can choose your slippage and you can even put limit orders in, press swap, and you can actually swap that in uh, your wallet, just like we did on Radium. And if we come down here, you can see all of the uh, exchanges that are happening across the Solana blockchain. And it just gives you a more exchange type uh, layout. But either something like a deck screener or directly on Radium is totally fine and up to the end user. You can connect your wallet simply to trade. I'll leave some more in-depth Solana and wallet guides down in the description and the exchange bonuses there as well. I'm James, it's MoneyZG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.